I'd just like to show you some examples of some of my uh, passive hydropon semi-hydroponics. So this one here, the pot doesn't have a um, reservoir. It simply has the bottom hole one third above the bottom so that water will pool in the very bottom and then wick up. And then I have something like this, which is a wicking cup and it's made with fast food cups. So one has holes in the bottom, I have a wick in there and it sits just inside of the larger cup and it will suck the water out of the bottom and up. And then I just sit that in there so it doesn't flip. This is a very large reservoir and a big plant. Here I've used an ice cream pail and you can see I've drilled holes in this just regular nursery pot all through the side. And then I can see where the water level goes. You'll see a lot of what I use is pond and I will share the recipe for a homemade pond later. This is pond. So you can see I've used a pop bottle, holes drilled in the bottom. You can see nice roots there. And it's just a uh, sour cream container. So this one, um, this one here is a purchased a uh, special wicking pot. It's difficult to get out of the reservoir. Uh, there. So you can see it's got wicks. Um, and I often use, this is a water container that I'm using as a res reservoir and then the inner container is just from pet treats and again I've drilled holes in it and the other one I really like to do is this so this is a big heavy glass vase or vase from Michael's craft store um, and then I have a water jug inside that I've drilled holes in and it's the homemade pond mixture. Um, so this isn't the greatest because it does get dirty. I have to clean the glass um, bowls out every two weeks. I empty it out then clean the bowl and put fresh water in. Um, yeah, so that's the majority of what I do. And, uh, oh, the other ones over here I've used. The reservoir is a um, trash bin from the dollar store. And then I again use the water container with the holes in it. And you can see I have this nice indicator because the reservoir is black, so I can't see where the water level is. So this indicator will rise and fall according to water level. So if you have it right down at the bottom, then you can see it's nice and full.